Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, kindly consider hitting that subscribe button. If you are returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Today I'm doing a different thing. It's about online writing. It's related to online writing. There is um one of my sub my supporters who requested me to do that video. It's about doing citations using google scholar on your mobile phone what i'll do i'll just show you the easy way to do it first of all you will need to have your document on your mobile phone on your wps uh, on a different video i showed you how to access wps and be able to work on it so this is how you open wps office you skip the ad no this is i want us to start a new document yeah you come how here you add a new document you can add a presentation spreadsheet but we need a document for our case so you come here and then we type you remember how we did mla apa and the sort we can write here student i'm just writing some detail uh -huh. we can have school like that and then here we come here we have introduction and then we have our work i'll just uh, not mm -hmm. let's have a title over here uh, let me use american history i like using it i find it so easy to use american history then we come introduction we just write something this is about american history then we'll come here and have references of course on a different page we all understand that so after that that's why we'll come and go to our google chrome so that we can be able to access google scholar it's not on here let me add it from my menu uh -huh, we can have this on <clears throat> so what you do let me just clear so that i can show you well let me just clear mm -hmm. so what happens we'll just come here and add a tab and just come and search google scholar you search google scholar after searching google scholar you just come and click here so now we will be inside google scholar we can come and search our topic that is american history you type it on american history you come and check cited by 41 24 cited by 756 cited by 14 23 so what you do you check on the one that have a lot of citing so we can come and click over there you can see an american dilemma so all these th all these documents are talking about american history you can come and check related articles so that you can be able to see cited by those people so there are these marks here that will help you see what you are you to see many articles so that you can be able to view different articles you can view there we have different articles different articles so institution and organization the civilization you can just come and see the subtopics over them subtopics subtopics you i uh, hope you have seen the way i've done it uh-huh the frontier of american history you come here like work cited you can be able to see related articles if you want to see the related articles cited by can be able to see related articles it's going deeper and deeper it's going deeper and deeper when you come there you can just check on the subtopic that you want until you find it until you find it so if you wanted to look about the uses of heritage for example you when you clicked on the related articles you can be able to see these arrows when you extend you have all 10 versions when you click on these marks, you can be able to see some things like quotation marks. 
after you have seen whatever you want to cite, the subtopic that you are looking for, you can see something like to quotation mark. You touch on the quotation mark and you'll be able to see the citation in MLF, APA, Chicago, Harvard, Vancare, and it will depend on the formatting or the style that you are using. If you are using APA, you just come and copy this one. I don't know why it's not bringing the copy in here. Yeah. yeah, copy. We come copy, then we go back to our document. We go back to our document. This one. This is citation one. Uh -huh. We label it here one. And then here we come and label this one. We come and label that one. Then you type and type and type maybe something different. You type something different using the same way. After typing, you label it too. And then you come to reference too and label it too. It's that simple. Nothing more about it. I hope you have, you have understood how you do citation using Google Scholar on your mobile phone. Then you come and click done. And then we come and save you save to my document i already taught you this and then you if you want to use this american history wps office doc you just click save and we all know how to go and find the document thank you guys please consider hitting that subscribe button so that i can be able to do more videos and click on the post notification bell so that whenever i have a new video you'll be able to watch as the first person. Thank you guys. See you on the next video.